Okay, so when people can't trigger you, they're going to always try to find a way to link or have you relate to something they think that you have gone through, right? And so I seen this on the first season, I believe, of Basketball Wives, and I just came across it again, and I was like, oh, let me just check this out. And so the lady in the um, first season, her name is Tanya, and I think she was like a fitness uh, instructor and she was also like a motivational speaker and the views that the ladies had of her it didn't fit who she actually was and they were so triggered let me show you yeah remain young william like i am the wise one and i'm here to tell you <laughs> kind of thing and i was just like okay <laughs> we've been through the same thing and if you guys can go check out the first season, just go watch it like the first season and the first episode. And I think it's like the second one. But <laughs> listen, it is crazy because this woman had so much wisdom and she had a lot of intelligence. And um, there was one scene where she didn't get up for the fight. Everybody was like fighting and being really catty. And she just sat there and was like, okay, I don't understand. And then someone had mentioned the fact that um one of the other girls was a hood rat and she had to look it up to see like okay what is a hood rat i don't know what that is and i think that made them upset because this woman seemed to be really well read and again she was into fitness she was also into like healing and so they didn't like that and they just thought that she was really fake they thought that she was like one of those self-help gurus and just like watching this episode this is where it has gotten like really tricky when it comes to women a lot of the women felt as if she had probably gone through everything that she was going to go through in her life and she was at that stage where she was really unbothered she was focused more on herself and just taking care of who she is and sometimes when people cannot relate to that type of energy they will get upset with you it's sort of like the energy of being aloof or being like if someone mentions something you're like oh i don't understand i don't know what that is right could you explain it to me they're like wait what you've never been through this before how can you possibly relate to me right and so this is that type of energy where people will begin to try to put you in your place or try to make it seem as though you're being fake and you're actually not like she was all about peace again and she wanted to like be there and work with everybody and on one of the episodes i believe it was the second one she said i'm not going to be in a space where i don't feel safe where i don't feel you know like i can just be like i enjoy peace i enjoy space i enjoy like working with people but if i can't be that in a chaotic environment then i won't be there and that was really amazing for her to have that type of mentality because a lot of the girls kind of felt beneath her naturally because she had this air and this presence and listen the girls should have been learning from her this is where you have wise wisdom you know wise wisdom wise women come in and say hey you know this is who i am of the group i don't know what you guys are you know into but this is who i am this is the type of energy that you can really learn from and so i don't understand why they were so offended and yes as the show progressed they all had something that they had going on but instead of them leaning in they rejected so and if you are a person and you love to be wise or you love to read and just like give out different tools make sure it's within an audience that actually cares right because i know when i do like certain videos or certain topics it's because i'm expressing myself it's not really to capture people and say oh you know this is who i am and this is that now yes i love to express myself right and i encourage other people to express themselves however if the information isn't sticking with you then it's not for you and that's okay because everybody is not going to want to hear what you have to say. Everyone is not going to want to listen to what you have to say. And I always tell people, don't listen to me. Go do your own research, right? Don't listen to what I have to say. Go do your own research. Because in that moment, you're going to find your own truth. So.